So this is the interface of the curriculum designer. So here we have the packages that in this uh, example, they, they are uh, semesters. Uh, so in the properties view below, we can uh, change this when uh, we create uh, a curriculum. And then we can create courses here. Uh, we have some um, uh, coloring of the courses depending on their types. If they are university requirements, uh, college requirements, or uh, a department requ requirements. Then, then we have the prerequisites here. Uh, for this semester, for example, appears in red because we have a constraint that says that um, a semester uh, cannot have more than twenty credit hours. So that's uh, here we have the the toolbox. Uh, so we can create packages, um, create courses, and then also prerequisites. Uh, below we have the properties view of uh, when we select the course or the semester or uh, if we uh, select the canvas, uh, we, we will have uh, the information about the courses. Uh, so this is a larger view. Here we have a view on the um, the properties view about uh, of the courses. Um, uh, sorry, this is the property view of, uh, for the curriculum. Here we can choose the type of the curriculum if it's uh, semester-based, module-based, or level-based. Uh, usually, in uh, in companies, we would we would use uh, a level-based uh, or a module-based uh, curriculum. For academic institutions, uh, usually we use semester or module-based uh, curricula. Um, then this is the properties view uh, of the course. Um, then here we have some um, queries that were used. To enforce some constraints, uh, I will not uh, dive into this uh, a lot here. We have some um, examples of validation here. For example, here uh, for the credit hours, uh, they should not be more than 19 credit hours. Uh, I said 20, but it's 19. We are using, we are adding some um, some textual information on, on the courses here. Um, when these courses they require, uh, for example, here uh, department approval, um, and then finally we can uh, let's go back directly to the product generation. So here we are generating uh, a website, a web page that contains um, all the all the let's say the the catalog or the bulletin of the that represents all the cur curriculum. With the program outcomes, student outcomes. Of course, these are also uh, edited uh, using the tool. Uh, also, we can we genera generate SQL scripts uh, so that we can um, we can add everything into uh, the database. So that's it. Thank you.